Alright, I'm going to show you a really easy to do bud switch. This here is just an RS Nor latch that I built. Saves the state, goes down. We're trying to turn it into a T flip flop through what I thought was a very clever thing and actually is very clever, but just doesn't quite do what I wanted. I ran into this quirky way of making a bud switch. Okay, and so now this is not needed, this is not needed. And you can see it, it's already into a bud switch, and that's not needed. And then it's done. Now what happens here is you get a bud switch anytime you power this thing here. The thing is, is once this thing toggles, it sends it up, but this doesn't conduct. You don't conduct in glass. So it instantly turns itself back off, and since uh, sand falls, it just falls back down and makes the connection again. So it's a working bud switch for anything next to it and it's very very tiny it's also modular but uh, due to the positioning of the uh, the little redstone wire over there you have to flip it which allows you to put this here and they're very closely modular to the boot. Now, that is just a bud switch right next to a bud switch. Though this functionality is a little pointless because it, uh, what did it do wrong? Oh, sand. It does a little oddness insofar as the bud switch triggers the bud switch which triggers the bud switch, but that's fun anyway. Then it'll stuck in an infinite loop, but the basic design is like three by four only and super compact and automatically turns itself off. 